The number one thing to me that was thematically important this year was the year of the thinking models, right? The reasoning models. And we actually made this dramatic architectural transition in terms of how LLMs work in the last six to 12 months that I think took them to a whole nother level of intelligence and utility. And I just feel like my personal usage has gone up like 10x since 03 launch, essentially in March or April. I've seen an inflection point in the value I'm getting out of these models. Astute. <laughs> no, no argument. I mean, the the theme every year is sort of like, man, there, there's a lot of value right there that we have that feels like we're not explaining, you know, here's how you should use it. I mean, at Deus Ex Medicina, the healthcare event we did, some of these companies, I don't know, are they that different than ChatGPT? But they're wrapping <laughs> it in like a Doctors feel comfortable with it. They're showing doctors the sources. They're making it work for medicine. And like medicine is one of the areas where AI is going super hot. I think similarly, you know, Harvey as the legal AI, the sort of scuttlebutt two years ago was that it, it actually sucks and it's not very good, you know, as a legal model. And then I think basically it got a brain transplant from these thinking models <laughs> in the last nine to 12 months. And I mean, my parents are both lawyers. My dad's like, this is awesome. Like, I mean, like, it's amazing. You know, I just feel like the buzz you're hearing on Harvey or similar legal models is just way more positive in the last six to 12 months. And I would argue it's all kind of downstream of how good these thinking models are. 